This video will show you how to monitor remote connections being established to your infrastructure server, jump server, Citrix server, or even app publisher. If dealing with a highly critical endpoint, you may like not only to record sessions, but also to be notified in real time whenever an RDP connection is established. To do so, open the Alert Management page. The alert we need is in the ECRAN system Default Alerts. Its name is the Session Start Alert. To configure this alert, click the Edit Alert icon. Default alert rules are defined to save time. On the Assigned Clients option group, click Add Clients to add the server or other computers on which incoming remote connections must be detected. Down the page, you can configure the alert notifications and additional actions that will be performed if an alert is triggered. For example, let's select the Send Emails To option to receive an email each time the remote connection to the server is established. When your use case is, for example, monitoring only third-party vendors or any other third-party users, you may like to record only corresponding sessions. To do so, you need to set up IP filtering feature on the target endpoint to exclude recording of internal user sessions. Open the Client Management page. You can easily search for the required endpoint by the keyword. Click Edit Client, then open the IP Filtering tab. Select Monitor Activity from all remote public IP addresses except, and define the IP addresses of the internal user's computers, sessions from which must be skipped. Suppose that a third-party user connected remotely to your server, and you got an email notification. You can open the session via the direct link provided in the notification. In the session player, you can view the screen recording and metadata from the beginning of the session. You can see what is happening on the server in real time by clicking the Live button. Now the 4i principle at work. If the user is performing potentially harmful or forbidden actions, you can block them by clicking the Block User button. Click the Live button again to stop playing the live session. You can export the session in the encrypted form to view it on any computer even without access to the management tool. Open Tools and select Forensic Export. Define the necessary settings and click Export. As soon as the export finishes, you can download the resulting file on the Forensic Export History page. Now let's browse previously recorded sessions of the monitored server. On the Monitoring Results page, you can filter the sessions by the server name. In the Session Grid, you can view information about remote connections, such as the name and IP address of the remote computer from which the connection to the server is established. Moreover, you can regularly receive all the necessary information about the remote connections to the server in a summary report generated and sent on schedule. Open the Report Generator page, select Session Grid Report. You can view the description and a sample of the selected report on the right. Click Add and select the clients for which the report will be generated. You can search for clients in the search box. To schedule the report, select Create Scheduled Report Rule on the Report Generator drop-down menu. On the Add Rule page, enter a name for the rule and click Next. To find the report parameters, and enter the email address to which the report will be sent. The report will be automatically created and sent to your email address with the defined frequency.